Uh, this has an electric prop, so this is actually your increase decrease uh, for the change in the RPM for the propeller. Carburetor air will leave for cold. Uh, here's actually the propeller controls, and if I turn the battery on, okay, the battery's on, I got electrical power. I can actually change the pitch of the propeller. That's in automatic, so wherever I set this, this switch will actually, in automatic, uh, the RPM will stay exactly where I set it. Now, if I want to decrease it in the air, I can bring this back to make a coarse setting, or I can actually spin it, and it'll slowly screw out in a fine setting, and I can adjust the, uh, the propeller RPM for where I want to keep it to be. And then the electrical motor will change the pitch to maintain that RPM. So for takeoff, we have it full in. But if you watch this, I can actually go in the off position, and then over here there's a decrease, and over here there's an increase position. So I can actually increase the pitch, if you listen to this, I can't hear it because I got my headphones on, but it's actually changing the pitch of the propeller blade with the electrical motor. You can't do that with a hydromatic prop. Uh, this is the uh, emergency boost pump for the fuel, so we always take off with that in the uh, on position in case the engine pump quits. We've got a backup, and then once we uh, get the gear up and everything, we turn that off. We only use that for an emergency. So we've got our uh, air uh, altimeter right there. Since I'm flying locally, I'm just always zero. It's so I know how high above the ground I am. Uh, air speeds in knots. That's your turn and uh, slip indicator. Rate of climb. Your tachometer. Of course, the red line on this engine's uh, 2800. Manifold pressure. That's field barometric right now, so it's like 30 inches. And of course, it's got a supercharger, so it'll actually boost above the pressure that we're sitting at and we use 46 inches for takeoff. And here's my artificial horizon, and that'll spin up once I, once I uh, get the engine started. Over here, I've got my uh, oil pressure gauge, fuel pressure, that's oil temperature, and we don't do a run-up until we get at least 40 degrees of uh, uh, oil temperature. And here's the cow flaps, which are actually manual. So I actually spin that, and they actually close on their own, okay? Or they close. So that's closed. Of course, we always start and taxi and take off with it in the open position. That's wide open, okay? This is the landing gear. This is kind of interesting, and the duck is the same way. There's a little clip right here. It says lower and raise. It's kind of like a like a ratchet on a crescent, not a crescent wrench, but a, like a, you know, a ratchet wrench, like on a snap-on ratchet or a, a craftsman wrench or something like that. So what'll happen is when I go to take off, the landing gear is down right now, that's the indicator, this little flag comes out, then I know it's absolutely down, that's the last thing to come out for my indicator. I will go to raise the gear, I'll click this over to raise, and I'll start cranking the handle takes about 36 turns to get the landing gear up, and then once it comes up, it just basically stops. I know the wheels are up in the well. And when I go to land, uh, I'll go ahead and click this over to lower. I'll crank the landing gear down, and once I get it all the way to the end, it starts getting a little harder, and the last little bit, this little flag comes out. I know the gear is down a lot, because obviously I can't see it from here. Okay? So, to start this thing, throttle's cracked. Mixture's uh, in the idle cutoff position. The mags are off. Uh, the master switch is on. The primer is always on with that switch right there. Going to go ahead and turn on the boost pump right here. Here comes the pressure. So I've got pressure up to the carburetor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the start switch. That's right here. And I've got a primer right next to it. So I'm going to hit the start switch and I'm going to tickle the primer a little bit to get some fuel in there. And once it goes to start, and it starts catching on, I'm going to, or I'm going to turn the mags on. Once it starts to start, then I'm going to go ahead and move the mixture up to the, uh, uh, the idle uh, position. So here we go. I'm going to turn the thing. Getting ready with the mag switch. Okay, so clear prop. Mags are hot. I'm tickling the primer. When it starts, I'm going to go ahead and move the mixture forward. 